Hello, I'm Daniel Cornwall, Digital Librarian for the Alaska Division of Libraries, Archives, and Museums. The Alaska State Library has three public internet access terminals. They are available as you walk in the door and turn to your right, and this is all three of them with a view out into the atrium. They all open into when you sign in, they open up into a, a web browser start page. But in addition to um, having web browsers, it's got a range of software, including um, LibreOffice, which is sort of like Microsoft Office, but for the uh, Linux world, open source world, and um, graphic software and some other things. Sessions on our different public access computers are uh, 30 minutes and each person gets two sessions per day. We have these limits in part to make all three terminals available and also in part um, as a bandwidth limiting measure. The uh, Alaska State Library has to pay for the bandwidth that it uses like many libraries do. and. Um, as a result, when we had unlimited access for everyone, in addition to having um, problems with people getting a computer at the time they wanted to access it, we also had a lot of overage charges. So that's why we had to implement these restrictions. And um, that's the main thing that I wanted to point out about the public access computers. If you have questions, uh, Feel free to leave a comment on this video.